So you're a new pool owner and you're just starting to ask questions about your chemistry. You know, perhaps you've just filled up the pool and it doesn't look so good. Or maybe you took a, a sample to a water lab and they gave you, you know, a laundry list of things that you need to do to the water. And it sounds like a lot more than you thought that you were going to have to do. And, you know, it just doesn't really make sense to you at this point. And so you start to ask questions. Maybe you post it on an internet forum somewhere and you're like, hey, here's a picture of my water or here's my chlorine level. What do I got to do? Um, something you need to understand before you even start the process of trying to fix your water. As you search out advice for how to deal with your water, you're going to get a lot of it and you're going to get some good advice and you're going to get some bad advice. You're not going to be able to tell the difference at all. Um, the thing that I would want you to appreciate most of all is that chemical treatment for swimming pools are systems. It's not so much a linear process, do this, then do that, and then you're good. Although actually some chemical process systems kind of make it seem like that. The truth is, is that it is a system and you kind of have to decide in advance how you're going to treat your water. What is the system that you're going to use? And once you begin that process, you kind of have to stick with it. Where new pool owners get in a lot of trouble is they'll, let's say they went to the pool store, or let's say really what really happens most of the time is they just filled it up and they threw some chlorine in it, because I think everybody knows that swimming pools need chlorine. So it didn't, it didn't work out, the water doesn't look good, now you're trying to, you get answers, you went to a water lab, you got a laundry list of stuff, most of it you've never heard of before, you're not sure if you actually need it. So then you ask your neighbor Bob, Bob's pool always looks great and he gave you something specific. He's like, here, do this, put this thing in there. And you did and it didn't really work and your pool sure doesn't look like Bob's pool looks. So then maybe you ask something else, someone else or you go on an internet forum and somebody gives you some advice in there and they say, well, add this thing. And so you add that and it doesn't look good. And you're really confused and really frustrated by this point because you're listening to all the people who are telling you what to do and nothing seems to be working. And the reason why is because you failed to appreciate that there are chemical maintenance systems. And the way that Bob maintains his pool is probably different than the way the pool store likes to you know, handle their clientele. And further to that, the people on the internet, maybe you even happen to find somebody who is super knowledgeable on the internet and you didn't really know that. And the information they gave you was really good information. You would have no idea how to appreciate that. And it didn't really work because you're not following their system, you just kind of picked one little piece of it and you tried it and it didn't work. So that's something that I would want new pool owners to really try to appreciate before you get started, before you start mixing and matching your chemical dosing advice from different sources, kind of find a person or a company or something to that effect that you have faith in that they seem to know what they're talking about and just follow the process that they give you for better or for worse, because there is a lot of patience involved. Swimming pools are huge. It's a lot of water in there. And sometimes it takes time for the results to take effect. And, and especially new pool owners don't want to wait. They want to swim. And so you'll find that you kind of are watching the water every hour on the hour, waiting for it to get better. It doesn't really work like that. Go have fun, go to sleep, check it in the morning. Um, so patience goes a long way in that regard. But if you, if you approach chemical maintenance in a swimming pool, understanding that you really can't mix and match an advice. And if you do, it probably won't work for you, even if you are happening to find some good advice. And so hopefully you'll find this advice good. And if you do, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.